Welcome to DXB Today. We've got quite a show for you. Here is what's coming up. Ash caught up with the man behind the Carolina Herrera brand, Wes Gordon. Plus, we've got exclusive highlights from Dubai Fashion Week. Thankfully, this fashionable show, I'm joined with two fashionistas as co hosts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, sure. Interesting. <laughs> Paris, um, Katie, have you ever been to Fashion Week? I have been to Dubai Fashion Week, yeah, a few oh. times. I mean, I don't necessarily fit in at Dubai Fashion Week, but I've been there, let's just I, say these. But it's I a great event. It's a great event in Dubai. It's amazing. Incredibly, I've also been to Dubai Fashion Week. Now, that does yeah. surprise me. It is quite easy when you're a man, though, because I just put on a nice black suit, bow tie, and I fit right in. Yeah, Did you have is. a stylist yeah, dress you up? What do you mean? For Dubai Fashion Week? For Dubai Week? Fashion Week? No, yes. no, no, no. Today? That's why I, no, today, yes, I had a <laughs> lovely <laughs> stylist do something. But it's, do you know, it's got so big, so, so big, so interesting, so many brands coming over here. That's true. You know, Dubai is, I mean, it is a fashion capital. Isn't it? And I think it's really smart that they decided to go with Fashion Week because, to be honest, they've done it in Tokyo, Shanghai, and so many places. And studies have shown that they actually notice a rise in, in commerce. And Dubai, I mean, it's places. like, f forget Fashion Week, just it's a very fashionable place. Whenever you go out, people, I want to say over True. the top, but people just look great. They take a big pride in their appearance as well, and their clothes especially. So I think it's definitely the place for it. And the fact that it wasn't here before is a bit of an issue. And it's also the one, like, in Dubai as well, I find it's one of those places that it's like, could you be overdressed or do you go out looking like you're just taking out the recycling bin and that's still classed as fashion? Well, as you can see, we're definitely experts, <laughs> but we're going to be meeting a real expert in just a second. Our guest co-host is almost here, but who is our guest co-host? Hello, I'm Silke. I'm a personal stylist and I can't wait to join you guys in the studio. See you later. Silke will be joining us right here in the hot seat. But before that, Ash went down to Dubai Fashion Week to meet the creative director behind Carolina Herrera. Let's take a quick look. It is that time of the year again. Fashion, stylish catwalk displays and the most glamorous after parties, darling. The Dubai Fashion Week is back with a bang, hosting 26 brands showcasing their spring summer collection. Let's check it out. Today I have the pleasure to speak with Wes Gordon, the creative director of Carolina Herrera. Wes, it's so exciting to meet you. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here in Dubai for Fashion Week. Uh, Carolina Herrera is the guest of honor here at the Dubai Fashion Week. What does that mean for such an iconic fashion label? You know, for us, it's really thrilling. Dubai and the entire region, I think, is one of the most exciting places on the planet right now. So to be here with our collection and show my latest work to a whole new audience of women is, is a dream come true. Carolina Herrera has been around for over four decades, and it's known for its sophistication and elegance. What do you think is the secret behind not just staying relevant, but also being at the forefront of the global fashion scene? My number one goal when I design and make clothes is to make something beautiful. And I think if you're after beauty and beauty is your goal, that's always in style, that speaks to women all over the world. You know, it's, it's we're a house that tries to make pretty, colorful, joyful clothes. Over the years, you've dressed so many wonderful celebrities, even before you joined House of Carolina Herrera. Who would you say is next on your bucket list when it comes to celebrities? That's such a difficult question. I'm going to give you my honest answer. There's nothing that makes me more excited, more excited than a celebrity than anything, than when I see a total stranger wearing one of my pieces. I love it so much to be in a car and look out the window and see someone, or to be at a party and see someone, because that means that from all the clothes available in the world, she found one of our pieces, fell in love with it, and is wearing it. Absolutely. Last question. If you could go back in time, what is the one fashion trend that you would like to bring back? Oh, the one trend that I would like to bring back. No pressure. <laughs> Ooh, this is, these are big questions. Listen, the one thing I just dislike in general is the idea of, of uniformity and everyone trying to look the same. So I'm all about people dressing for who they are, dressing as individuals, wear your favorite colors, wear your favorite pieces, don't follow rules, wear a ball gown in the middle of the day if that's what brings you joy. So I think it's, it's, you know, it's about always having that freedom of getting dressed. Wes, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you.
a household name, a label that is synonymous with chic tailoring and effortless sophistication. Carolina Herrera has once again come through with timeless elegance. Definitely the DXV presenter that is a perfect fit for Dubai Fashion Week. Thank you so much, Ash, for that. Now our next guest founded her own styling agency in Dubai eight years ago. Working with women to rediscover their style, she is a testament to the transformative power of fashion. Please welcome image consultant and style coach Silke Alden on the show. Did I pronounce your last name right? <laughs> I butchered that tonight. <laughs> I'm so sorry it's for that. It's a difficult one, I know. How yeah. are you, Silke? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here on the show. Now, as someone who has been uh, doing style for eight years now, what do you think of the style scene here in Dubai? It's definitely evolving. It's quite interesting, especially also now at Dubai Fashion Week, to see that we have designers from all over the world now joining us over here. And uh, it's gaining a lot of interest and yeah, I can see that it's going somewhere, definitely. I mean, it's fantastic, but how did you get into, I'm gonna, how did you make fashion your fashion? <laughs> so there, guys? I've been practicing that for ages. Thanks, but, Kate. But thank yeah. you. But genuinely, how did you get into fashion and why is it such a big thing for you? Well, fashion is one part. Like, I want to concentrate more on style, on Ooh. personal style of women, and fashion is just one, like, part of it. So what's the difference then between fashion and style? style you need to educate us yeah, now. Style is not really fashion in that sense. Okay. It's always used at, together like fashion stylist but style is more your personality like why are your core values how you like everyone that gets dressed has style whether you roll up your sleeves or you don't the length of your dress like all things are elements of your personal style and your style is going to be different from everyone else. So style is unique. You use fashion to show your style. That's now, so Silke, when it comes to style, when it comes to fashion, it's not just, because I think a lot of people, they sort of step away from fashion because they think it's about spending a lot of money on some expensive clothes. But obviously, there is an element of styling where your regular clothes, you can make look high end. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I think it's looking into yourself first and see what your values are and what you want to bring forward and that's one part of the image consultant is to see how do you want to be perceived by everyone else and what is the message you want to get across and then you look at your wardrobe and look at the different pieces and say is this actually saying the words that I want to say mm. and uh, it's not about investing loads of money it's really narrowing down the message and the way you want to be perceived and there you see is it modern? Is it classic? Is it eclectic? You have so many different vibes that can describe your style. And then you go into your wardrobe and see That's if it's aligned with that. <laughs> I saw in an article once that you said you are pro-aging. Now, obviously with Dubai Fashion Week and all the fashion weeks around the world being a bit more inclusive when it comes to age. And I have a quick question though about your everyday style. How do you feel about people saying, dress your age? No, dress, <laughs> dress yourself, okay. dress yourself regardless of your age and if dressing yourself means wearing short skirts or sleeveless dresses then that's just your personality. Do you think there's a guide though toward it? You know, so as we, as we do get older, are there th things perhaps that we should, there are guides that perhaps we should go more one way than the other, do you I know think, what I mean? Yeah, I think society gives us that guide okay, makes because sense. society is quite quick in judging you and saying you're way too old to be wearing this or maybe you're too young to wearing this, you right. can say that to your children as well. And um, yeah, why don't we let it be and just, you know, let people wear what they want and what they feel that they want to do. I, well, I was, oh, sorry, go I was going to say, I mean, you think people should just wear whatever they like, but I know a lot of people talk about makeovers, but I've also heard a lot of people talk about make-unders, where people go over the top when it comes to fashion. Do you think there's any mistakes that people make or do you think just do whatever it is you want? I think in everything in life, and as we know, as we grow older, there's a development and sometimes we just get carried away and media is there, trends are there, Instagram is there. So we're like, oh yeah, cool, I wanna wear this. Like it speaks to you. And yeah, we can go over the board. We just get seduced basically yeah. what is out there. And we all, it happens to all of us. <laughs> what is the one tip, the one fashion tip, because I know that you style women mainly. Yeah. What is the one tip that you would give women to, to really encompass a style if there was a, a go-to? 
exactly what I said at the beginning, to try to really find what defines you as a person and find four, maybe three adjectives that describe you and see that what you're wearing is that. Oh, so three find, adjectives. Find your three words or five what words. What are your three adjectives? Definitely classic. Okay. There's no way around it. And uh, a little bit practical. So classic with practical because I think we wear our clothes every day and the clothes need to be wearable and a little bit creative, a little bit like a twist. I like Classic that. with a twist. Right, we're going to think, our, our, <laughs> think about our three exactly. words. Now, Silke, you're here with us for the whole episode, so we're going to catch up on that. We will discuss our three words. We yeah, will we'll come back later. But for now, we are going to find out who our performer is on tonight's show. Hi, my name is Shanice Michaels, and I am from the Philippines. Happy to represent my country. And tonight, I'm going to perform Bobby Caldwell's What You Won't Do For Love, and of course, my favorite, Michael Jackson, and it's gonna be Rock With You, so we'll rock it tonight. Thank you. Plus, we'll be talking about princess parties, hair trends, and men's fashion, so don't go anywhere.